Alrighty, I don't want to keep spamming my channel with distilled water posts, but uh, I have noticed quite an influx of questions regarding uh, where to source the best distilled water, and that's kind of a difficult thing because uh, store-bought distilled water, I do not recommend it. I don't. Um, most of the people that have contacted me on this channel and left comments on my videos have, uh, you know, discussed and talked about how distilled water that's store-bought tastes like plastic and that's because it's in plastic and the fact that there are no minerals the very fact that there are zero total dissolved solids in distilled water when you put distilled water in the low-grade plastics that they're selling it in it leaches the minerals that are excuse me the plastic leaches into the water and you can really taste it so store-bought distilled water a big no-no I do, however, drink it from time to time when I don't have access to quality distilled water. And the only way that you're going to generate, or the only way that you're going to uh, acquire quality distilled water is if you generate it at home with a unit. And most people don't have the time, the patient, or the patience to do this. Again, it, it can take anywhere from four to six hours to get to stumbling and mumbling. It can take anywhere from four to six hours to distill one gallon of tap water, and I prefer to distill each gallon a minimum of twice. I've distilled gallons of water up to six times, and I usually pull things out of the water until the third distillation, um, although usually by the third distillation there's really negligible amounts of calcium, different mineral buildups inside the boil kettle. but. I mean, it, it's crazy that even distilled water that's ran through the, the distiller once, after five, four and a half to six hours of distillation, you still oftentimes don't remove all of the wastes. So, again, most people don't have the time or the patience to sit around and wait six hours to get one gallon of drinking water. Most people are drinking over one gallon of water, and many people like to cook with filtered or distilled water. So, I mean... <laughs> Unless you have some type of expensive industrial sized unit that's distilling 5 to 20 gallons per distillation, I mean, it's, it's hard to um, keep up with the, the demand for water when you're only using a small one gallon water distiller like I used for years. However, what I would do is I'd get a glass carboy, a five gallon glass jug, and I would fill it up. I would, I would distill upwards of three um, gallons of water a day, and I would just fill it into the carboy and let it rise and rise and rise and I always had about a gallon and a half to three gallons on hand so I could use it to make my soups I could use it to cook with um, you name it and that really is a beautiful thing I mean I think a lot of people who are drinking distilled water um, are just drinking it if, if you make a soup like a vegan soup uh, or a vegetarian soup with distilled water if you compare that same soup, those same ingredients, and you cook that same exact soup in tap water, it's going to taste so much different. Um, it, distilled soups are so so much softer on your tongue. You get more flavor. Um, it's a much healthier way of consuming soups, and that's something that I really do enjoy doing. Even in the hot months, I'll mix soups and let them cool down, and you can have cold soups or room temperature soups. I'll even eat hot soups with spicy hot peppers in summer because um, I really don't mind the heat um, but again you know I, a few people have contacted me and said you know I, I went out and bought some plastic or I bought some distilled water at the store and it tastes like shit what's the deal bro I've never recommended uh, drinking um, tap water from the store unless you absolutely have to um, because even the distilled water from the stores is going to be better than your tap water in my opinion but uh, I mean I've, I've drank so many gallons of self-generated distilled water that I distilled at home and I, I remember when my first distiller broke I ran out to the store and bought a couple gallons of distilled water and took a, a, a chug off one of them and it was just like oh made me, made me feel like I was spinning there was so much um, so much of a plastic taste in the distilled water so again be careful 
Um, do the best you can is what I'm getting at. If you, if you use a lot of water, if you live with a family, distillation probably isn't going to be the best route for you. However, I do recommend it, getting a distiller and trying to dis distill and drink at least two to three gallons of uh, distilled water each week if you can. I mean, they're, they're, for over four years, I drank it every day. And I still drink it. I don't have access to a distiller right now. Um, right now, I am doing experiments with uh, certain forms of filtration. But d there's just a special place in my heart for water distillation. I think it's a beautiful form of alchemy, uh, removing all the wastes from water. Um, I had a ton of fun filling my boil kettle, kettle with hot water. Uh, putting the top on, I put symbols all over my distiller and just watching each drop come out of the distiller into the collection jar and I'd always put tons of pieces of quartz in my collection jar and I had a lot of fun with distillation. Distillation was really my initiatory uh, first step into the realm of self-healing, attempting to self-heal and alchemy. And you bet, you bet distillation is a form of alchemy. You, even, even filtration is a form of alchemy and that's due to the fact that alchemy is the process of taking one thing and transmuting it into something else. And oftentimes in alchemy we do that by removing the dross or the negative material from one substance and exalting that substance into a new state by removing those wastes. So, a ton of fun. Uh, you know, many people may be going, damn, this dude's a freak. All he does, he's obsessed with water. You bet. I'm very obsessed with water. Water is a very sacred element. Um, our bodies are composed largely of it. Um, there's so many rea there's so many things in the, in the body that require water um, to take place. You know, there's so many functions in the body that require water as a catalyst for those functions to uh, initiate and be undertaken properly. And you know, I, knew, I do get quite a few questions about dry fasting. I'm going to make a separate video on dry fasting, but I've done a ton of dry fasting um, in the past, and I favor using water. Water is attaches to poisons to help them be eliminated out of the body, and uh, I'm not saying that dry fasting is necessarily a bad thing. I'm just saying that if you've never fasted before, it's going to be smarter for you to dump in, jump in to juice fasting or juice feasting, I like to call it, tea fasting, broth fasting, and uh, water fasting, than just saying, no, I'm not going to eat at all. So, You can, however, drink too much water on a fast, and that can really uh, take away from the speed of how much weight you lose, because oftentimes the weight that we perceive as being fat is a lot of water weight and it causes us to back up and appear to be bloated. So there de is a delicate art of water fasting properly, dry fasting properly, you name it. And uh, many of the people I know who get into fasting, they'll, they'll drink like a gallon, and a, a gallon to a gallon and a half of water a day. I, I personally, I don't, I don't, that's not how I fast. No, no, no. Um, I usually keep it under a half gallon. Uh, unless I'm physically ex exerting myself and in times like that, I don't really like to be fasting in a hardcore manner where I'm not eating anything because there is some times where I'm doing some extreme manual labor and I do need to uh, replenish the things that I lose in my body so that the next day when I go to work or whatever it is I'm doing, I have the energy. My muscles have the energy. But bro, you can be, you can live forever without food. You can be a, you can be a liquidarian. You can just soak up the sun all day. There's so many people out here that just say such crazy shit without ever even applying these things to their life. They're not many people c c make claims and they're not even living examples of the claims that they're making. That's all I'm trying to say. So it's fun to say that you can be a breatharian and you know just live off solar energy. I'm not saying that people can't do that. I'm just saying that good luck in the city with all of the fucking distractions. Stress is going to get to you and your chances are you're going to cave in. So but I wish you well, regardless of what path you take. I wish you well. So again, just a brief little video. I don't, again, I don't mean to keep spamming YouTube. 
with distilled water posts and wa posts about water, but it is a very, very valuable and important subject to uh, rant about. So chances are I will continue to do it. Peace be with you.